Hey guys, Zen here. So today guys, I wanted to make you a video of how to connect your MetaMask to OpenSea. It's pretty basic. So the first thing that I would do is follow me, hit the subscribe button, all that good stuff. But on the serious note, let's go to MetaMask. So in your web browser, simply type in MetaMask. And it's going to be the first one. Here's the company. So we'll go ahead and click on this one right here. Now, once you are on this website, you just want to go ahead and hit download. And then it's going to take you probably to this page here. And then you can select like what type of browser you're using, you know, Chrome, Firefox, Brave, Edge. Um, obviously, I'm using Chrome. I already have it installed, but like I'll just show you how it looks. So you click that, and then you would just, instead of remove, you would hit install right here. And then there's a nice little video. And, you know, it's going to tell you more about what MetaMask is and everything. And honestly, it's it's a really amazing uh, decentralized tool that gives us finance outside of the traditional banking system completely. And as long as you own your seed phrase, nobody can access the wallet other than you. So once you have this installed, you want to check up here on your browsers. Now you may not see it, so at that point you want to just hit this little like puzzle on Chrome browsers. I don't know about the other ones, and just make sure this is enabled. It's all you have to do. So we're going to come over back on OpenSea. So OpenSea.io is the URL. Um, let me sign out of my Solana wallet because I was just in my Solana wallet. Um, you want to click this right here, and then select right here. I just made a video on Phantom, how to connect that and how to set up your Phantom wallet. So definitely check that out. But hit that. Um, and then it's going to want you to sign in. And now I'm inside my profile. So at this point, it may tell you since like it's your first time versus me. I've, I've already done this plenty of times. It may tell you that you do not have your fan, excuse me, your MetaMask wallet installed. So all you have to do is if you're already on the profile page, hit Control F5. And if you're not on the profile page, then guess what? You just want to go over there. Uh, and once you're on this actual account page, right, because you hit your little profile thing here, just do Control F5 and your problem should be solved. It should allow you to connect and sign to get in. That's that's if you made sure that you've installed your MetaMask wallet extension. If that's installed and activated, there really should be no problems. Uh, and then you're given this page um, with your NFTs and, and so forth, okay? Like as you buy them and whatnot. You can also look up people's, um, their names. So for example, like if I wanted to look up my Solana wallet, it doesn't have everything that I have. I'm pretty sure, um, but so far it's logging about 42 of my Solana NFTs. Um, I have a lot of these pocket gods, but um, let's get back on the Ethereum side of things. What you want to do is get back to the main wallets, and then if you want to change these, you can. Um, I don't know if it's going to show me something. Um, I'll try this one. All right, so every time, like, when, I haven't updated my profile in a while, okay? So it's asking me again to sign my contract. That's completely normal. Um, sometimes when you update things, especially on, like, OpenSea, when it comes to your, you know, your, your main logo, icon, PFP, whatever you want to call it, um, your banner, your name, your, your description, usually there's a one-time signing contract just to prove that you're the owner of the wallet type of deal. Because with Web3, instead of using a username and password, your wallet is your username. And your when you sign the signature, that's your password for that account. And then it says that you know it's going to re-authenticate in 24 hours. So that makes sense. Um, I'm not going to do this because I don't need to. Because I, I like what I have. Let's go ahead and refresh this page. But maybe... What if you wanted to change the banner? You just obviously hit this little pen icon, edit button, and then you know select your media, whatever it may be. 
And then if you want to edit your name and your description, your, your Twitter account, if it's associated with this, you want to hit your settings. So now we're going to sign. So it's going to allow me access because it's like, hey, this is my wallet. Then, you know, you can update these things in here. You can change your name. That's your, like, like that's literally your, your URL for OpenSea. So if I did that, it would take me to my profile. Uh, then you have your bio description, which I'm actually going to update real quick. So I'm going to go to my actual Twitter page, which is NFT. So also follow me here, guys. I don't really spend a lot of time on Discord anymore. I don't have time. I'm doing a lot of like Web3 site building. So I'm learning how to do that, create my own NFTs and so forth. So you'll get a lot more um, alphas faster from my Twitter shenanigans. Uh, let you know it's a complete shit show on there, but it's worth a follow for sure. All right, so we're going to update that and then just clean this up just a little bit. On a little side note, what I do full time is pretty much web work and then, you know, lead generation, Google ads, ranking websites, things like that. Um, so you can set up your email here. This is cool because you'll get email notifications when people make bids, um, offers, when you sell something. It's pretty cool. Uh, you can connect your Twitter accounts. It's a very easy process. You know, you'd hit authorize and so forth. Hopefully it takes me right back. Nice. Um, and then, anyways, um, and then you have like your website link you put in there. And then just hit save. You're good. So for me, I'm just going to do a little small update because I just want to get my description added. And then it's successfully updated. So when I go over here, now I'm going to have a new, at least I thought so, description. All right. I think I have to maybe just go back in it or it just takes a while to go through because this is on the blockchain. So, but it looks like it didn't save through probably because I try to do, do something with this Twitter account. Sorry about this. Let's try this one more time. And then we'll do Zen. And this should take me to my profile. There we go. So now it's successfully updated on the blockchain with my new description. Obviously, when I made this, it was a while ago. Um, I made this. This particular, I have a bunch of uh, OpenSea accounts, but I made this one in September 21. Uh, some things to cover with, with Ethereum and like centralized wallets and safety and risks. Make sure you don't just connect to any random site. It's very, very important. If you do, it's very easy for you to sign the wrong website and lose all your funds, all your NFTs. Um, also, when you're sending money, for the first time like if a lot of these a lot of you guys are going to be new users right so when you're using centralized exchanges like coinbase ftx binance whatever it may be let's say you buy a thousand dollars worth of ethereum send five dollars worth to your decentralized wallet first so that way you make sure that you got the wallet information correct because if you get one digit wrong there's no refunds in this game so how do you get your wallet address? You want to just click on your fan, excuse me, your MetaMask uh, extension. And then right here, this is your account information. And so you, you would take that, send it to yourself. So that way, like, you know, you make sure it's correct. I use my email. So I would take that and then go to my Gmail, paste it, send it to myself, and then use my phone or whatever it may be, how I use my, my, uh, my services. And then I would just paste that in there. But definitely start with $5 when you go to send your money. Even if you have like a bunch of money in crypto, always test your payments first because it's very easy to mess up a code and then you lost all your money if you send everything. Um, yeah, so if you guys found this video helpful, please make sure you follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. And follow me on Twitter. It's a total shit show, but it, it's, worth, it's worth a follow. All right. Peace out, y'all.